Hello everyone and welcome to the ultimate tank guide for every single floor inside of the catacombs. Let's get straight into it, but before I do that, join Discord server, link in the description, doing giveaways, epic, it's cool. So, the requirements I think are good for each floor are entrance, combat 15, basically as soon as you can enter the catacombs, floor 1, catacombs level 2, floor 2, catacombs level 6, this is... These are definitely big jumps, but they are definitely doable. They might just take a slightly longer time than usual. Floor 3, Catacombs level 10. Floor 4, Catacombs level 15. Floor 5, Catacombs level 20. Floor 6, Catacombs level 22. And Floor 7, the big one, Catacombs level 29. Normally I would say 30, but because you're playing tank, you can enter the floor slightly earlier since you get a ton more HP. And... It's basically easy so tank is a role in dungeons that basically lets you get a free carry as long as you can survive the floor because you don't do much damage you genuinely don't you don't do much inside of the boss fight so let's just get started with floor one now, floor one is simple because it doesn't need the tank to do much and the mobs don't even do that much damage so the gear you need on floor one isn't that advanced you should get a full prote protector dragon set since it has a full set ability that gives you more defense on the percentage of missing HP, which is great because if you're going to die in, in floor one, then your protector dragon armor will protect you and uh, you shouldn't die, hopefully. For the sword, I would recommend an aspect of the dragons since it provides a ton of crit chance and good damage now the reason i said crit chance is because you're playing tank you don't have any extra damage stats now this is important because you still want to clear but you generally won't have 100 percent crit chance in these early catacomb floors since your catacombs level is not very good so then the dragon aspect of the dragons gives a ton of crit chance good amount of damage it's a good all-round weapon. Also, if you get low, you can use its right-click ability and you can fling the mobs across the entire room, which lets you heal up with a Wand of Mending. For the pet, I would recommend a Blue Whale. It can be rare. Rare is probably the best for your money at this point. They are very cheap. Now, for the boss fight, you want to follow Bonzo around for the first phase and basically just tank any damage dealt by the undeads follow your teammates and follow bonzo and for the and eh, that's for the first phase and for the second phase you just want to follow bonzo around let your teammates kill him and if you ever get low you can press your drop button and you can use your castle of stones ability and this is very important since the castle of stones basically just makes you invincible in any floor if you use it in a master mode floor you just don't you just don't die now moving on to floor 2, you can still use the protector dragon armor, it is completely fine, you, you will still be able to tank as good as you did in floor 1, but I would recommend 3 fourths heavy armor since it's slightly better, but yeah, it is good. I would also recommend to get a crystallized heart since it gives double healing, and with this double healing you want to take full advantage of that, so I would recommend to get a wand of healing or mending unlocked at zombie slayer 2 or 3 just so you can heal if you ever get low and uh th for the weapon you can keep your aspect of the dragons don't worry it's not going anywhere this time and you can also keep the rare blue whale um for the boss fight you want to kill the priest which is at the back right corner if you're facing forward when you first spawn it's at the back right corner of the boss fight you want to kill the priest the warrior, the archer, then the mage, since priest heals the other mobs. Now, this is important that you kill the priest first, because if you don't, and you try and kill, let's say, the warrior first, one, it's going to deal a ton of damage, and the priest is going to heal it infinitely, which obviously isn't great, and it's not what you want. For the second phase, you kill the, the, the mobs in the same order, you just got to make sure that you kill Scarf at the end. After that, the boss fight is complete, and you can move on to floor three. So for floor 3, you can still use your Aspect of the Dragons, insane, we love that. You can use the same pet, the Red Blue Whale, and you can use the same armor, the Heavy Armor, and you should be completely fine. 
At this point, you might also want to get Zombie Slayer level 7 and buy a Wand of Atonement and a Florid Zombie Sword for some extra healing if you're struggling with survivability. In the boss fight, your job is to, to help kill the Reinforced Guardian with whatever teammates kill it. If not, then you just kind of stand there and try and kill it, but you won't be able to because it has too much health and tank does not do that much damage. Then after the Reinforced Guardian has gone down, if there are any remaining Guardians, help kill those. And after this, you can kill Scarf and stay near teammates to soak up all of the damage and fulfill your job as tank. After that's done, the boss fight is complete and you can move on to floor number four. Now, fourth floor is slightly more complicated since the boss fight is more advanced, but it shouldn't be too bad as tank because, again, it's super simple. Um, the... The upgrades you want to make are change your heavy armor to super heavy armor, which has a catacomb level requirement of 15, which is why I, I recommended this floor at catacomb level 15. Then what you can do is upgrade your crystallized heart to a revived heart, and that will keep the double healing of the crystallized heart, which is very good when paired with your Wand of Atonement and uh, for a zombie sword, which if you don't already, you should buy those. Um... You should upgrade your weapon to the Hyper Cleaver. Now, at first, this seems like a downgrade, but if you think about Lifesteal and or Siphon, you will be you will definitely be able to survive since you're hitting so many mobs at once. The Lifesteal is crazy. It's insane. You can go from zero health to full health in seconds. If there's a massive clump of mobs right in front of you, just slap your swords a few times, and you should just slay everyone rare blue whale to an epic blue whale for in, for an improved bulk ability which just gives you more health and defense which means this floor is very good so the boss you can you, you have to stand in the middle of the kind of center arena circle where the spirit bears spawn and you just kind of stand there and yeah it's very easy and very simple when the spirit bears spawn, you just follow your teammates around, and then when they die, your teammates shoot Thorn right in the head, and when he dies, you will then complete the floor, and then you can move on to floor 5. Now, floor 5 is the first floor where tank is actually pretty useful, because the mobs in the boss fight, all of the livids, they do decent amount of damage, so the tank is pretty useful in this floor. Now, for this, you, want, you do want to keep your hy Hyper Cleaver for your first floor 5, so you can get the floor completion. Then it allows you to buy yourself a Livid Dagger, which in is insane because it gives 100% crit chance, and also an insane amount of attack speed with good damage. It also has an ability where if you hit a mob right in the back, right there where George is standing, hello George, how are you doing today? Then it does double damage, which is really good paired with the attack speed. The armor changes that you want is a tier 3 perfect chest plate and shadow assassin leggings and boots. Your armor should look like this now, shadow assassin boots and leggings, tier 3 perfect chest plate and a revived heart. Blue whale should be epic or legendary. Now for the boss fight you want to stay near your teammates, basically just follow them around, follow where the correct livid is and hope that your teammates do enough damage to actually kill the livid before everyone dies. Floor 6. This floor is probably the, the floor where the tank is not most important, but second most important, only followed by floor 7. It is so important because the terracottas in this floor 6 boss fight do so much damage, so if you're playing tank in floor 6, you're doing your team a massive favour. Since without one, generally parties will just die. So for the armor changes, you want to change your Shadow Assassin boots and leggings for the Necromancer Lord leggings after you get a Floor 6 completion. So you keep your current gear and get that Floor 6, six completion. After that, you go to the hub, go to the auction house, buy yourself some Necromancer Lord leggings and boots. You should be fine. Upgrade your perfect chest plate to at least tier 6 plus. It shouldn't be too expensive. It's around 12 enchanted gold blocks, which is roughly 3-4 mil. Um, you should replace your revived heart with a reaper mask. This will definitely make you go do slayers. You need to get um, 
you need to get Zombie Slayer level 7 for this, which shouldn't take too long, an hour and a half maximum. You can keep the Liver Dagger as a weapon since it's great. You're basically going to keep Liver Dagger now because it's just a good weapon all around until Giant Sword, which is quite a while away. You must buy a blue whale that's legendary. I would definitely recommend level 85 to 90 because that is a cheapish range where it doesn't get too expensive because the level 90s plus, that is super expensive for not much of a boost. Talk, and also on the topic of Slayers, I forgot to mention this, you want to get a Mana Flux Power Orb, which is unlocked by getting Wolf level 6, which is definitely doable. Finally, for floor 6, in the boss fight, you want to stand in the middle on the glass. Now, this is important because everyone should be in that circle. If you have a healer, they should spam that crouch ability for that healing circle. And everyone stays in that little circle in that middle. There's like a ring. If you just stay in there, you, the tank, will tank and soak up every little bit of damage that is dealt to your teammates. Now, this is great because then you can just kind of AFK. And if you ever get low, you can press your drop button again and use your castle stones. That basically goes for every single one of these floors. So that's pretty epic. You want to kill the golems midway through the terracottas. So one of your teammates, your archer most likely, will go out and kill the terracotta, uh, the giants. Yes, the giants. No, not the giants, the golems. They will go out and kill the golems and that will basically just speed up the run by like 10, 15, 20 seconds. It's not that big a deal, you can just kill them whenever, not that big a deal. Then, the giants drop down after the terracotta phase has completed, after Sedan's interest reaches zero. Now the giants do a lot of damage, but if you just stand in the middle with, your, with a bonzo mask, which you should buy at this point, then you should be fine. If you die, it's not the big a deal, because the bonzo mask, it saves your life. It's great, I love it. Then Sedan spawns, make sure to not stand on the glass because because the, the chain comes down and it opens up the glass. And if you fall in that hole, you will just insta-die. It's, it's just insta-die. You can't survive it. Can't tank it. Not, not at all. But, so you just kind of move around. And then when Sedan dies, you've completed floor 6. And you can do that however many times you want. So, let's move on to some floor 7 gaming. Now, floor 7 is probably the floor where a tank is most important out of every single floor that isn't master mode. And you keep your, your current setup, your, your Necromancer Lord leggings and boots with your tier 6 perfect chest plate with a Reaper mask for one run. And make sure that your armor is also reforged to giant by using the giant's tooth. At this point, you should probably buy a legendary blue whale level 100. If you, don't, if you already have a blue whale that's legendary, there's no point to sell that one and buy a new one, just level, just level that one up. But if, you don't, if, you're, if you're still on an epic blue whale, make sure to upgrade that to legendary. The gold ore armor is especially good because each piece gives 10% armor, gives 10% damage reduction from wither mobs. And that includes basically every mob in the floor 7 boss fight. Keep your Livid Dagger and also buy a Last Breath, shoot it at the massive Withers that spawn. That includes Maxor, Storm, Goldor, and Necron. This will re reduce their defense by 50% if you hit it all five times. If you are absolutely balling in money, let's say you drop a giant sword, you can also buy yourself a Wither Artifact or a Wither Relic. Wither Relic is slightly more expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. Because you get an extra 20 to 25% damage reduction from Wither Mobs. And for, for the aggro, so you can aggro the massive Withers into the laser under the pillar. <clears throat> and, and, and under the pillar. I would recommend a Soul Whip, Axe of the Shredded, or Jungle Bells if you can't afford either of them. Or if you don't meet the requirements. For the Soul Whip, it's a requirement of Fishing level 26. And for the Axe of the Shredded, it's a requirement of Zombie Slayer level 8. Shouldn't take you too long, maybe 3 hours maximum. Not that bad. And that's your Floor 7. Complete it as normal with your teammates. Go through, <coughs> go through the terminals. Wait, wait at the end. Do some levers, do some devices. And kind of just stand there at the Goldor phase when you can deal damage to him. And for the Necron phase, you just stand at the edge 
on the middle platform and you should be fine. Now that is every floor that isn't master mode completed with a tank guide. Now if you guys did enjoy this guide or if you found it useful, make sure to like and subscribe because it's very cool. We should have some more videos like this coming along very, very soon. So if you did enjoy, like sub, I already said that, join Discord link description. We have giveaways happening every week. And I will see you in the next video. See ya.